What's going on guys? Uh, today's video is going to be on recognizing revenue on a long-term contract. Uh, so US GAAP has put out two different methods that uh, can be used to recognize revenue. And the preferred method, the one we are going to be going over in this video is the percentage of completion method. Uh, the other method that is put out is the completed contract method, which is where you will be recognizing your revenue at the end of the, in this case, at the end of the three years. Um, the percentage of completion method, you're going to be recognizing that revenue over the years so that your company uh, remains profitable uh, on its book value. So GAP has put out two um, sort of rules that need, or two conditions that need to be met to recognize revenue. Uh, the first one is that the, the revenue needs to be earned. And the second one is it needs to be realizable. So how we realize this revenue is by taking a percent complete of the contract and turning that into a number value so that we can put that on our books at the end of the year. All right, so let's get into this uh, this this problem here. So we have an apartment building that we are going to build and it's going to be a three-year contract. Now the contract price is going to be $9 million. Your costs incurred during the period, so each year, at the end of the year, you are, are what these numbers are going to be. So $2.6 million is what you paid in raw materials and labor at the end of the year. Your estimated cost to complete is what you're going to do at the end of the year. You're going to estimate how much you think that the rest of the contract is going to cost you to complete it. So in 2021, we have 4 million. In 2022, we have 1.9 million. In 2023, we have zero because at the end of the year, the um, contract is complete. All right, so we're going to come over here to this template that I've put out. Um, I already have it preloaded with with the number values from from the left side of the screen. So our contract price for 2021 is nine million dollars. Now that's going to be all across the board. Your nine million dollars because your contract price is not going to change. Your costs incurred during the period are 2.6 million dollars. So our cost to date is going to be 2.6 million dollars and then our estimated future costs is going to be four million so our total estimated costs on this contract so far are going to be six point six million dollars now our percentage complete is going to be how we're going to find our revenue to date so percentage complete is going to be our cost to date divided by our total estimated costs. And that is going to be 39%. I'm going to change this over so we can go, yeah, 39.39%. Okay, so next we're going to calculate our revenue for this year. So we're going to multiply our percentage complete by your contract price. And you're going to come up with 3 million $545,455. Less our previous year. Uh, this is our first year on the contract. So we're going to start at $0. So our total revenue this year is going to be our revenue to date, less our previous years. So it's going to be $3,545,455. Next, we're going to do our gross profit to date. Uh, the way we calculate gross profit is revenue to date minus our cost to date so let's do that and here's our gross profit nine hundred forty five thousand four hundred fifty five less our previous year again we have zero because we don't have a previous year so our gross profit is going to be nine hundred forty five thousand four hundred fifty five dollars now we do the same method uh, for the next two years. I'll just go through it uh, so we can complete this, this contract just so you guys can get a look at how it's going to look towards the end. For 2022, our contract price is still $9 million. And at the end of the year, our total cost in the period were $2.2 .2 million. So at this point, we are going to sum our cost of our cost to date from the previous period and costs incurred during this period. Now it's going to be $4.8 million. 
So we will add that with our total estimated to complete. $6.7 million is our total estimated cost. Now, if you remember to find the percentage complete, we're going to take our cost to date and divide them by our total estimated costs. It's going to be 72% is complete. Revenue to date is going to be our contract price times the 72 percent. Our revenue to date is six million four hundred and forty. Our revenue to date is six million four hundred forty seven thousand seven hundred sixty one dollars less our previous year. So we'll have our revenue to date minus our previous year of Three million five hundred and forty-five thousand four hundred fifty-five dollars, and that's going to be two million nine hundred two thousand three hundred seven dollars. That's going to be our revenue for the year. Now, our gross profit to date is going to be our revenue to date minus our cost to date one million six hundred forty-seven thousand seven hundred sixty-one dollars. Uh, less our previous year's gross profit to date. And we will have $702,307 is our gross profit for this year. All right, we'll do the same thing again for 2023. So we have $9 million. Cost incurred during the period is $1.7 million. So we're going to sum that with our previous cost to date. We're going to have $6.5 million. Our estimated future cost is going to be zero because this, this is at the end of the 2023 contract. So our total estimated cost is going to be $6.5 million. Our percentage complete. Um, if you want to, you can do $6.5 million divided by $6.5 million, but it's going to be a hundred percent. So our revenue to date is going to be $9 million. Less our previous year revenue to date of 6 million. Sorry previous year of six million four hundred forty seven thousand seven hundred sixty one dollars it's going to equal two million five hundred fifty two thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars is our revenue recognized this year our gross profit to date is going to be our revenue to date um, minus our cost to date is going to be $2.5 million, uh, less our previous year. Is going to equal, so we're going to have $2.5 million minus the $1.6 million is going to equal $852,239 gross profit this year. Okay, so that's it for this contract. If you look at the revenue this year, you're gonna, if you add these three up, you'll realize that it adds up to $9 million. You're just recognizing it over time so that your business still is, is profitable looking on the books. You don't wanna have $0 in revenue, $0 in revenue, and then $9 million in revenue because it's not gonna be a good snapshot of your business. All right, so uh, if anybody's got any questions or if I made any mistakes anywhere, let me know so I can annotate it and uh, come back and fix it. Um, other than that, the next video I'm going to do on the percentage of completion method will be the journal entries for these uh, actual transactions. Okay. All right. Thanks.